Hello, I'm Dr. Wendy Burton. I'm a GP from Brisbane, and I'd like to talk to you today about my idea of a functional society. And I'm going to start by telling you what I think doesn't work. And there's plenty of examples on our media, on the TV shows. But if you think about shows such as Survivor, or The Apprentice, or that one where you are the weakest link. The whole point of these shows is to pit individuals against each other, weed out the weakest, the ones with the fewest connections and those who simply don't make the grade. And this is what we consider as a form of entertainment. But that's not how a functional society works, in my opinion and I'd like to propose an alternative. I'd like to propose that we consider that society is like a human pyramid. And on the bottom row, you have the foundational folk. And we all know people like this, maybe you're even one of those foundational folk. And they are robust and they are strong, they are dependable, they can carry an enormous load. They are the people you can rely on, they are solid. And riding on their shoulders, sitting on their backs, we have the middle rowers. And they're good folk. Um, they can deal with all sorts of everything. Maybe not foundational people, don't overload them. But they're adaptable, they're dependable, they'll get things done. And on the top row, we have the more fragile folk. Truth is, they're always going to need somebody to support them. Truth is, it's best not to load them up too much. It just doesn't work if you do. Now what I'd like to propose is that nobody spends all of their time on the bottom row. And people in the middle row absolutely can move. And some folk on the top row will actually make it down maybe maybe not to bottom row but certainly to middle row you see life comes at us whether we like it or not and there can be things that simply overwhelm you and if you're one of those foundational people and you've always thought of yourself as as the dependable one the robust one the one that's carrying everybody else and and you can't fail or falter because if you do the whole thing's going to crash down oh come on relax Everybody needs help sometimes, and everybody has a breaking point. So where's yours? Have you reached it? Is that why you're watching? Because in my functional society, what happens is that other people on the bottom row notice that you're faltering, that you're kind of a bit weak at the knees, you're getting a little bit wobbly. And they say, hey, chill, relax, we've got this. We can, we can take the load, you, you rest a little. Or, or maybe it's not the bottom row people who've noticed, maybe it's the middle row people. See, see from the middle row, you see things that you don't see on the bottom row. And maybe they've noticed, and you know something? They've been riding up there for a bit and they're strong enough to come and take your position. So come on, swap out. You come up and I'll go down and you, you rest a while on my shoulders and and I can carry you, maybe not forever, but for now I can. Rest, recover, come good. And when you're ready, if you're ready, come back into the bottom row. And some of the people in the middle row, look, they get the wobbles too. In fact, some of the bottom rowers make it up to the top row. But you know something? Don't think that there's no function for you up there. Don't think that top row isn't worthy or you see all sorts of things from the top row that, that you would never have seen if you only ever stayed on the bottom row. There is creativity and there is understanding that we all have our moments and you can gain a lot from the view from further up and once you're rested, if you wish to, you can resume your position in your usual row. But you might actually find that that was something other people put onto you 
that they said that you were a foundational or that you were a middle rower or that you were only ever good for the top row but actually you've spread your wings a little bit and you like your new position and actually maybe you could aspire to one of those other rows. See life, life is complicated and sometimes Sometimes we need a break. So whatever it is that you're facing right now, whatever row you perceive that you belong to, whatever row others have put you into, if you need a break, please step out before you collapse. Because you can take the whole lot down if you don't step out in an orderly fashion. Give responsibility to others. Identify people in those middle and top rows that actually are more than capable. They might not believe it, but if you load them gently enough and slowly enough and give them enough support, oh, they'll be more than capable of doing some of the roles that you've traditionally done. And we need to build this into our workplaces. We need to build this into our families. We need to give each other a break, we need to share, and we need to move within the layers so that nobody is the weakest link, so that nobody is voted off the island, so that nobody needs to be fired. No, so that we get everybody home together. We support each other, we uphold each other, and we all make it to the finish line. I hope this helps. If it does, please share. Thank you.